Hello again. As I'm sure we all know, the brother of the Prince of Wales is married to a black woman who has the misfortune to be American. During his cohabitation with this person, the Prince seems to have absorbed by osmosis one of the pivotal claims of critical race theory, which is that there is no such thing as objective truth and reality, and everything must instead be examined through the lens of subjective experience. This, it is suggested, is particularly important for black people. When people began to notice some inaccuracies in the autobiography which Prince Harry recently published, he made the following claim, which was tweeted by the fellow who had ghostwritten the book for the Prince. Whatever the cause, my memory is my memory. It does what it does, and there's just as much truth in what I remember and how I remember it as there is in so-called objective facts. Just savour this for a moment. A man is claiming that there is as much truth in his memory as there is in objective facts. This means that if I remember going on holiday in Portugal years ago, and it was actually Spain to which I went, then my claim that it was Portugal has just as much truth as a reality, which was that I was actually in Spain. To most of us, of course, this sounds like raving lunacy, but that is perhaps because we are not familiar with the central claim of critical race theory, that lived experience trumps objective reality every time. It's an important point about critical race theory, which is sometimes overlooked. Um, and most of those who subscribe to it, I'm afraid, re reject the re rationality of the Enlightenment. During the Enlightenment, that period during the 17th and 18th centuries, sometimes also called the Age of Reason, human reasoning and the scientific method became the touchstone for the false deal truth of any hypothesis, rather than through religious revelation or spiritual insight. It was evidence gathered through the senses and analysed by rational thought that was seen as the best way of studying the world. Followers of critical race theory are dismissive of this method of dealing with history or current events, believing that their own intuition and memory can provide a surer path to the truth as it relates to such matters as racial prejudice and the essential nature of the society in which they live. Abandoning the paramount role of reason can be a hazardous undertaking, of course, and leads on occasion to exceedingly undesirable consequences. When Oprah Winfrey, uh, this is returning to the subject of the uh, Prince Harry, when Oprah Winfrey asked Meghan Merkel about her own truth, <coughs> this was mocked and derided in some newspapers and magazines as when it might have been, because what nobody seemed to realise was that they were both speaking the language of critical race theory. It was a, not a question of what had actually happened when this woman married Prince Harry, but what she felt had happened, or what her memory of what had happened was. That was her truth, and it had no connection at all with objective reality. It didn't need to. This idea, though, that a person has his or her own truth which is important even if it runs counter to reality, is very important for many black people who advocate for critical race theory. It's clear from the way that he talks that the Prince of Wales' brother has adopted this bizarre worldview and honestly believes that his own memory of events is as truthful as what actually did happen. I doubt that I need to point out how dangerous this idea is, and nor how disruptive such a philosophy is to life in the Western world. If a black person's lived experience of truth is that he or she has encountered racial prejudice, then that is as important as the fact of whether or not it actually happened. Viewers might have come across mention of the controversy about critical race theory being used in schools or as a basis for training in the civil service or elsewhere. This is because there is concern that children, for example, in schools are being taught to ignore the real world and focus instead on their own feelings and memories and to treat them as being as objective 
as objective facts.